let me show you now that we've done design and we have done depth and slope let's do an infill design we'll go ahead and go in here we'll delete out a couple old ones that are in here got a fresh uh, clean slate here we're gonna hit create we're gonna do an alignment and section we'll do a pretty basic one here and instead of using points on the screen we're gonna use our focus point of the bucket you can see down at the bottom here I'm either using right left or middle we'll just use the middle right here so what we're gonna do is reach out and we'll start right here and create a point we'll hit our blue dot I'm gonna make a couple points behind us see it creating that line string as we go let's create one more point right here create one more back here behind us this time I'm going to do it off a little bit from that original alignment meaning not straight back and kind of see it's been making it so we'll go ahead and hit this plus right here now we're in the plan view I'm not going to worry about changing the elevation of it we're not worried about that we'll just use the existing ground that's there so we'll leave it on plan view step one of three so the next one we're going to come back and we're going to use the uh, on-screen option instead of using the focus pointer templates we're going to go on screen as soon as we're in here you can either draw it with your fingers or you can punch in the numbers up here for example with this blue button as soon as you start one you can come up here and say okay I want to go let's say 10 feet over and I'm going to leave it at zero we're going to hit check so what it does if you zoom out a little bit from that original alignment is I've gone over 10 feet now you can continue to key it in or you can just drag and drop it so let's say we do a V ditch let's grab that and we'll bring it down we're gonna bring it down about you can see five feet and over five feet so about a hundred percent if you do it in percentage maybe to create a V ditch we'll drag it over about two feet and then we'll drag it over another two feet and you can use the grid system here as a reference or like I said you can key it in so now we can pull it back up to about a hundred percent we'll come back up to that same line drag it over until we hit about a hundred percent so it kind of mirrors what's over there and then we'll just create another flat top table we'll say about 10 feet so if I zoom out you can see the V ditch I've made off that alignment now that was the alignment where I made the line out here so the reason why I made that little dot in the middle right there is because I don't want if, if I want the V ditch the center of it to be where I made my alignment out here in the field I need to move that over you're not going to do the mirror image option in the next screen we can actually move this whole entire design over to where it lines up with where I originally made the alignment out here so on the next screen so now three of three if you zoom in you can see that the alignment right here is where we made it in the field but it's to the side right here but there's this option down here where we can move it over and the reason why I made that center point in the middle is if you roll it into 3d I can actually put move it over one more I can actually put my alignment line right down the middle of where I actually did that you can name it we can just call it the V ditch you can use these options up here to extend it from your first and last point you can come up here and be like hey I need to go an extra 20 feet on each side a B and a side and B side we can extend it both ways go ahead and hit OK hit apply now you have a design that's made it can be deleted or edited but we're going to go ahead and select it now I've got the jobs the project infilled V ditch hit apply now what I'll do while it's loading is spin back around and you'll be able to see our V ditch back here so I'm going to go ahead and move over just a little bit that's where we get back into the middle of it the camera so with the transparency you can see that I had it set about 50% so if we put it on hundred percent 
now you can see and that V ditch did start right there the bottom of it is basically where I set it right there so we can go ahead now and put a vertical offset in and be like hey I need to dig that V ditch from the existing ground let's go down uh, let's go about five feet we'll put a minus five go ahead and hit apply now you can see the the actual ditch in relation to the bucket if I raise up you can kind of see it there and since I did move forward you'll see that it's back here also and with your other screens you still have the 3d option right here I'll turn the machine back on so that we can have a reference of where the machine is so you can still run both we can see here if we zoom out you've got your design in a 3d mode and we've got it up here so we still have a cut fill boom boom whatever screens you want you can still run your cross section of that one we could even change this one to uh, 3d so in here we can see it in 3d we can zoom in and out on it you can see that one as you change it or vertical offsets and in here you can see the uh, odd augmented reality option now we can go out and start digging that extension that I was telling you about is you see right where my buckets at that's where the original point started that's where that a is right there that's where I made that 20 foot extension so I didn't actually run off the design even but you'll still have the original point so and you can see that also on here so the a is that original point if we change it to here you can see that one and then you can see on the other end the B and where that extension is from a solid line to a dotted line. So, Thank you for watching this video from Site Taken or Mountain on augmented reality, infill design, alignments.